Hey guys, I've had a few questions in the comment sections on YouTube asking me about the spool holder mechanism that I use. So just a quick video uh, relating to that. Um, up until now I've been using um, this green uh, spool holder uh, that I knocked up a, a while ago. I made this uh, in a uh, CAD program. I actually designed this around these bearings that I had lying around. These are kind of odd odd bearings, they're an un, a non-standard shape and they also have a flange on them so I've you know, uh, just made a, uh, a holder which, which accommodates that flange. However, if other people wanted to, to make this, they would have to source these bearings and they're not standard so they'll be quite expensive. So I've gone ahead and I've knocked up uh, something more standard that I'll be switching over to. Um, these, uh, th these new holders can accept stock standard uh, skate bearings, so these are 608 bearings. Uh, simply push the bearing in like so and that locks in place. Uh, on the, uh, the back side of the spool holder we have a lip or a flange. Uh, the diameter of this flange is the diameter of the spool that you'll be using. I've created uh, this CAD program, or this, this CAD design sorry, in OpenSCAD and I've uploaded the design to Thingiverse. I've also enabled the customizer option in Thingiverse and in customizer you'll be able to adjust two parameters before you can uh, or before you need to generate the STL and print this out yourself. One is the actual diameter for the bearing. Now this should be 22 millimeters. However, depending on the tolerances of your printer, you might need to print it a bit smaller or a bit larger. So you have the option to adjust uh, the outer bearing diameter. And also, of course, everyone's spool of filament is different, so you'll be able to adjust the diameter of this uh, flange here as well. So they're the only two options that you'll need to, to change uh, to, to, to have success with this. So that's that part. Let me go ahead and show you the actual printer and the axle that I use with this. You can also download from that same Thingiverse page uh, these, this mounting block here. This mounting block attaches to the Z-axis threaded rod. I have this in three sizes for 10mm, 8mm and 6mm. Uh, to this block we have the actual axle and what I'm using here is M8 threaded rod. So that matches the inner diameter of the 608 bearing. I also have four nuts attached to this rod. Now these are nylon nuts. These are nuts that I had lying around, but you can just use, of course, standard steel nuts. I'm using two of the nuts to, to clamp uh, this rod to the block, and the other two nuts I'm using to um, bind or, or just clamp the filament onto the axle. So let's go ahead and do that now. That's it, installed. And this moves very freely as it's on bearings and you shouldn't get any binding filament. Simple as that.